Hi, this is Stefan Carrion, founder of Great American Products, and I want to show you some of the testing methods we use to make sure you're getting what you're supposed to be getting when you buy our products. Come on over. Lauren? Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us today. Sure. What's the process you go through? And, and show us some of the testing apparatus or equipment oh. you have here. Well, this one that we have right here is uh -huh. our HPLC equipment. We check to make sure the potency, the amount, if it says 25 milligrams, there's actually 25 milligrams. That's what we test for. That's, that's very important. That's very important. Yeah. And one of the things I really love, one of the first things that we do is that we test the raw material when it comes in, even before we put the ingredients together. So it's like if you have, uh, you're in the kitchen and you have this recipe together, you have the eggs, the flour, all these different things. We want to make sure it is what it's supposed to be. And that's what we do here. And that's what's so important when you're looking at nutritional supplements because the purity and the potency are what make the difference in the quality of your life. Other than that, if it's, if it's falling short of that, you're not going to feel the effect. And I want to make sure that you feel the effect that it makes a difference in the quality of your life. So when an ingredient comes in, even before we start mixing it, you test the potency of the ingredient. Yes. And then after the product is manufactured, you test the formulation again, yes. just to make sure that the formulation concentrations match the spec of the formulation that it's supposed to be. Yes which is so important because Very people important. want to make sure that they're getting what they're expecting. Yes. What also interests me is how we test for heavy metals mm -hmm. and some of the other items over there. So that really intrigued me about the That's other That's in app. the other room. All right, let's go. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, no, right after you. Oh, thank you. Okay. We're going to start off with the IR machine, the infrared. Okay, great. Uh, this we use to test raw materials. Um, it's kind of like a fingerprint for raw materials. Each raw material has a different graph. And so if it matches the fingerprint, you know it's vitamin C. Yes, we and match it to a standard. To a standard. And if it doesn't match, then it's rejected. Yes. OK, great. Mm -hmm. great. Our next piece of equipment is right here. It's our optical emission spectra. It tests mainly calcium, magnesium, selenium, minerals. So this entire machine mm -hmm. is just for minerals yes okay and, and, and specifically our calabsorb which is calcium magnesium citrate of course yes. one of the best forms uh, it tests the potency of it the yes. purity of it purity yes. okay the purity of it we test the raw material as it comes so it we do an ir test initially and yes. then we come over here and we double check the raw material yes. for specifically for the minerals and then when we're done with the formulation we test it again yes Great. All right, let's move on to our next piece of equipment. Okay, great. <laughs> this is our gas chromatography. This helps test um, impurities in our samples. That's really great. And that's one of the things that I, I love about, you know, this whole lab over here. Because we, we're testing for all these different things, but especially for pesticides. Because our cust some of our customers call and they're very concerned these days about, you know, what, where the ingredients are coming from and right. what, you know, what impurities might be in there. And pesticides is one of the things at the top of the list that people ask about. And so, sure. what, we, so what we ensure is, is that there are no pesticides. There are no pesticides. We ensure that every pesticide that if something went into it while in the process of making the raw material, it's gone by the time we get to it. That's great. That's great. So that it comes in this machine over here. It's tested, and or it's well, over there, and it comes. The, it the starts data. in this machine, and it goes through in here. There's columns in here, and it uh -huh. goes through, and then it reads through on the screen of a computer. Judging by the peaks, we can tell if there's any impurities. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Okay, let's go to some of the other equipment that we have. Okay. okay. Our next instrument is very small, but very important. We use it to test radiation in all of our raw materials. Every raw material goes through this and the infrared identification. That is something that the FDA requires, correct? Yes. Yes, that's good. That's all good. FDA requirements. <laughs> that's great. And then over here, is this where you read Yes, it? this is our results. Um, it does a scan at once every minute, and then it will tell us if it's positive or negative. Negative is good. If Very good. If it's negative, then we can proceed and use the product. And have you ever had any ingredients that were rejected and you found positive? Yes. Really? Yes, we have. Oh my God. And that's why it's so important to make sure that we're doing this type of testing because we want to make sure that you're getting ingredients that are safe, that have no radiation, no pesticides, and are the type of ingredients that you're supposed to be getting, the potency and the accuracy. So Lauren, come on, show us some more of this, this incredible equipment you have over here. Sure. Our next piece of equipment is our heavy metal machine, our okay. ICP MS. Traceable amounts of any heavy metal. The big four are lead, arsenic, mercury, and cadmium. Wow, that's really reassuring, Lauren. Yeah, let me show you what else we have. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So Lauren, I, I realize this is the microbiology room. Please explain to us, you know, why this is important. Well, microbiology is very important. We do five specific tests. We do E. coli, uh -huh. staph, salmonella, yeast and mold, and TBC, coliform, which is a bacterial. Uh -huh. um, we have a manual test of which we use different petri dishes for different tests. Um, if they grow something, then we retest and we make sure that everything stays below a specific limit and everything passes. If not, we do go into an investigation and that will consist of more manual testing of a new clean product, uh -huh. like, I guess clean production. And we also do something over here in our Solaris machine. Oh, show us. This is also uh, specific tests. E. coli, they each have specific temperatures. E. coli, 44.5 degrees. This is your staff draw, your TVC, your yeast and mold. It's kind of like a mini incubator. So these are the ideal temperatures for each for of these growth. items to grow. Yes. Because you want to say if there's something in there, we want to do everything we possibly can to make it grow so you can see it. Yes. Okay. Which is why we do it at these specific temp temperatures. Uh, if nothing grows at these temperatures, then nothing is in it. Ah. That's great. That's yes. great. Well, I, first of all, I thank you so much for, for sharing all the wonderful equipment that we have over here in the lab, and I, and I, I greatly appreciate it. No problem. And, and I just want to say to everyone out, out there, um, this is a passion. I am so committed to giving you the best possible products you can have. These, these testings are, are so important. This testing, this laboratory analysis is so crucial and so critical to making sure you're getting the best quality, potency, and purity. And that's what I'm committed to. I'm committed to giving you the best possible product you can get. I want to thank you very much. This is a passion of mine. I appreciate you allowing me the privilege to serve you. Again, thank you very much.